since I think it was 2012 when you first announced cutbacks in, in, in uh, employees or layoffs, essentially. 27,000 then moved up to as much as 41,000, and then in October, another 14,000. So 55,000 job cuts overall. Um, is that going to be enough? Is that where the margin improvement really has come from? It's across the board, David. Certainly, we are managing our labor costs uh, effectively, but it is in supply chain. It's in global real estate. Every single thing that we do, we've looked at and said, how can we do this more effectively so we can have a cost structure that allows us to provide products to customers at better prices? And in this new world order, I think there is a whole new style of business going on out there. It's very fast. You have to be remarkably cost competitive. So every cost matters. And one of the really interesting things about separating this company is we get a chance to clean sheet two Fortune 50 companies that no one ever gets a chance to do. So we look at every line item and ask that question that you wish you could always a answer in business, which is, if I knew what I knew now, how would I set up these two companies? And we have an opportunity to not only ask that question, but to actually answer it. So I think both of these companies will be leaner and more cost effective. There's more we can do in technology. Think about this. We get to clean sheet two new technology operations for both companies. Our fundamental IT is based on a manufacturing system because we used to be a manufacturer, so it's all parts and SKU based. We don't have to do it that way anymore, and we can really just build the entire new style of IT for both these companies. So those are the kinds of things that are going to make us more efficient and effective for the next decade.